All right, so for chapter four, um, so essentially what happens is Billy Pilgrim is on the train to the the camp, the internment camp, and um, on the way there, oh wait, no, sorry, he, he picks up from where he left off, which was where he was kidnapped by the aliens, um, and he was kidnapped and sent back to a memory of his daughter's wedding, but he knew that he wouldn't remember it. Like, he wouldn't be able to enjoy it because he'd be picked up and kidnapped and put back into the internment camp memory again. So he just ends up watching a movie, and he ends up, like, reversing the entire thing in time all the way back to Adam and Eve. And I think that symbolizes, like, his pain for the war and everything that he wishes he could reverse. And he wishes he could be in control of this, like, time loop that he seems to be in. Um, and then, like, the aliens come and pick him up, and, like, they apparently can talk, and, um, they have a conversation about why it's him, and apparently he's just stuck in a blob of amber, which doesn't really make sense, but it's whatever. Um, and then, uh, he, he's sent back on the train, and apparently Weary dies, like, with a, like, screaming vein of... Billy Pilgrim's name, and now someone on that train that Weary was on wants to avenge Weary, which is interesting. So I'm going to see where that goes. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious as to see, like, the more of his memories, but also the main memory, and I'm still really confused as to why he's actually time-traveling, or if it's just him hallucinating because he's just delusional.